Howdy everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to add new options to the pause menu in Frosty Editor for PZGB2. First, open the UI folder, scroll down, open widget, open list, single click the pause folder, and open pause list. Open the object, open rows, right click row 11, and hit insert after. Then copy the first item in rows and paste this as the one you just created. Open your new item and change the label to anything you want. I'm going to make mine immortal. Next, scroll up here, open screens, Single click pause and open pause list. Open the object. Open the components. Open the select event entity data. Open its events. Right click the redeem code event. Select insert after. Then make a new event. I'm just going to use immortal. Scroll up in the file. Open event connections. Click here and select insert after. Then set the source to the select event entity data. Set the target to the interface. Set the source event to your custom event. and set the target event to on, followed by your custom event. And change the target type to client. Copy your target event, open the interface, add a new output event, and paste your event there. Go back to the Data Explorer and open States, single click In Game, and scroll down to the bottom. Then open UI Pause Main State. Open its objects. I'm going to add two new items. To find the components I'm looking for, I'm going to single click Hub, open UI Storybook State, open the objects. Copy the local player event entity data, paste it back here, then do the same with this schematic channel. That's the hub immortality channel, by the way. Now it's time to create logic for it. So I'm going to open event connections. Right click this one. Insert after, and I'll make another one. Here, I'll set the source to the UI legacy screen render, the pause list one. And set the target event to the local player event entity data. So the source event to on immortal. And set the target event to in. Target type will be client once again. On to the next connection. I'll set the source event to the local player event. And the target event to the hub immortality schematic channel. Set the source event to out, and the target event to set immortal. The 
to finish it off, set the target type to client, and we can now save the project. Eh, just call it immortality. The time has come to launch the game to see if our new pause menu option works. There's the immortal option, let's click it. And go back to the game. Let's see if we're invincible. Oh, brown girls can't hurt me. Well, that concludes the tutorial. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>